I'm meteorologist Allison Pryor, and as I study meteorology, that means I learn about the weather. And the cool thing is, the more that you study, the more you learn about weather, the less nervous that you'll be when it's storming outside. But even with the storms, there are a few things that we want you to know to be prepared about it. So number one, when there's lightning, if you hear thunder, see lightning, and you're outside, you need to head indoors at least for 30 minutes. Why? Because lightning is hotter than the surface of the sun. So you definitely don't want to be nearby when a lightning bolt strikes. And unfortunately, sometimes these general storms that we have, they can strengthen and become what we call severe storms. When that occurs, there's three things that you need to know. Number one, where. Number two, when. And number three, action. So where? Where are the storms going to occur? Are they going to happen in your neighborhood? In order to know that, you need to know where you live. So the name of your town, the county you're in, and where to find it on a map. So if you're from Chattanooga, here you are on the map inside Hamilton County in the state of Tennessee. So all of this is really important information. Number two, when? When are the storms happening? Is it going to be during the day or at nighttime when you're asleep? And number three is the action. This is what you want to do with your parents, grandparents, siblings, whoever you live with. Identify where your safe place is in your home. You want it to be the lowest portion of your home, such as a basement. And it also needs to be an interior room. So if you don't have a basement, you can do a bathroom or a closet on the ground floor with no windows and away from walls. That's the safe spot to be if there's severe weather, especially a tornado. And once you go there, you also need to have with you an emergency kit. For that emergency kit, there's lots of things that your parents can put in there, but you can help them too to get it ready. So what can you add in there? Well, grab a flashlight and put it in the emergency kit. You also can have a blanket with you. That blanket will help protect you if there's severe weather, but will also make you feel more comfortable and cozy inside of your safe spot. I hope all this weather information is going to help you feel more prepared and also enjoy all the sunshiny days that we have. Just remember this summer in the sun and the heat to drink plenty of water and put on that sunscreen. Enjoy your day.